welcome back to my channel. This is a part two from my Nordstrom haul. In the Nordstrom haul, I sold you two luxury shoes, designer shoes that I got. One was the Valentino Rock Sun, and this pair that came in this box, the Stuart Weifman Highland Boots, and I believe the color was taupe. I'll, of course, detail the exact color in the description box below. Before we go any further, if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Ngazi, or NG for short, and this space is where I create all things beauty, fashion related, home related, decor, lifestyle from my perspective you'll find it here so I hope you stick around and, and enjoy I am a full-time pediatric dentist so I do this on the side but I really enjoy it and I hope you'll stick around to see what I have to share with you girls so with that being said let's jump into the review of the infamous Highland boots so before I take these out I will say that I am a curvy plus size thick girl I wear anywhere from a size large to extra large or size 12 to 14 as for my shoe size I wear size 11 to 12 I really 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 wanted these boots these I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale haul and if you want to see everything I got in that haul I'll leave a, a link to it the big thing I wanted them for is because they come up really high on the thigh they're like true over the knee boots they're not knee high eyes and not under the knee they are true over the knee boots but I was really skeptical because I usually don't see women of my size wearing these boots and I thought okay they're part of the sale they were going for $478 I will give it a try normally they're $800 and they were 40% off so I'll give it a try and they had my size but they did have a size 12 which I would have gotten but they were ran out by the time I got it so I got a size 11 and a half oftentimes if you're a big foot person like me you don't really see size 11 and a half so I do commend them for having like a half size honestly I think after size 10 Maybe you'll see a 10 and a half. Uh, you really see 11 and a half. So kudos to them for making like an 11 and a half. But I'm going to ding them a lot of points coming up because it just, this is not, this is not cute. But the shoes come in a wonderful box. It feels, I think this pair of shoes, these ones seem like they've been worn, they've been tried on before, which is okay because I buy and I return too. So these were okay, but they did come, I think they came with everything. The box does feel, it feels luxurious. It doesn't feel as good as like the Valentino box. The Valentino box was like, oh. That was that was designer, but this this does feel good. It's textured like textured wallpaper. So inside, you get the boots. You do get a dust bag. This dust bag does seem a bit more cheapy. It's almost like the stuff that you get in like in hotels when they give you like a shoe bag to use. I feel like this is that. I have gotten like really nice shoe bags um, from hotels, and this is kind of on the cheapy side. Not overly cheapy, but it's kind of cheapy. Well, let's see, before we get to the shoe, you got a info card where it talks about great product care in different languages. And then inside you finally have your shoe. I couldn't find the heel height on the website, but I would say it's probably a three and a half inch heel. And I will say these shoes are super comfortable. But you can already tell from the bottom. It's rubberized. It was made for comfort. It just wasn't made for comfort for a woman uh, my size. So these are Stuart Weissman made in Spain. Again, I got them in a size 11 and a half and the color is Topo Suede. The material itself, it's a real suede. That's the name of the color, Topo Suede. And it's pretty much like a taupe grayish kind of brown. If you have one black and you have one of this color like your wardrobe is set for the entire winter I believe the shaft height is a good 24 inches so this is a lot of leg so that's why I said it's a true thigh high boot the the boot area foot area again it's really comfortable I have to give them that I got into 11 and a half I actually thought it was a really good size I didn't feel it was too big or too small it felt really comfortable I just didn't like how my legs looked in them they looked really soft the description on the website says that it is cut narrow for a narrow calf and I was really hopeful with this but I kind of I suspect it because again I don't see girls my size wearing this boot for obvious reason Stuart Wiseman doesn't want us to wear it and that's how I feel I don't know how true it is I, you know, I don't I don't work for them or anything um, I really wish they did make them a little bit bigger because they're a comfortable quality pair of boots and that I would absolutely love to have in my collection if they looked good on me so I guess it's a certain look they want people to have and that look is desired by a lot of people including myself but it's unfortunate I definitely won't be able to keep these in my collection I was in Macy's the other day returning some of our wedding gifts and stuff and I browsed through the shoe section and I saw that they had these Madden and there was one, one other brand that had over the knee boots. They were not in this color, I don't think. I think they were black. But I said I was going to try it and see if that would be a decent do for this shoe. So stay tuned to that. So let's jump into the try on so you guys can see how it looks on. I just don't think they're, they're just not flattering, right? Like, make my leg look pudgy. I feel like I'm barely, barely, barely getting away with them. Like, I think if these were like 50 bucks, I would like get it and just deal with it. For the for almost $500, they're just, they're not good enough. But I love the style. I'll leave the circumference of my legs on my blog. I do love how high they come. I think if my legs were slimmer, they would probably come up probably like even a little bit higher. They are awesome to go with tons of looks. Another reason I can't keep them is just because they look like this and I don't even have jeans on. I'd never be able 
would have fit like jeans or tights underneath like absolutely no way like the struggle would be way too real it's just way too slim for someone like me and then I didn't even tie the back yet again if they were cheaper I would probably keep them just to make it work but for this price almost $500 no like look at this like look at this leg here it's like it's like skinny it's like not skinny but you know it's like slim slim and then like spilling over like the spillage here it's just it's not cute and definitely makes my leg look like ham hops if i turn around oh no like to the back it's like an absolute no for me but these are 800 dollar pair of boots granted you know i paid closer to 500 with them but still like for 500 dollars you need to be well fit and i need to be able to get a lot of use with them and i can't think oh if i gained five pounds they may not be able to fit at all it was a struggle to get these on and i'm not looking forward to taking them off so again i'm five seven and these are a size 11 and a half boot and I typically wear a size 14 on the bottom they are really well constructed they are super comfortable the foot part feels really really good not too high they feel like really well made it's just that they are really really slim through I wish I can get them up higher so I can get rid of some of this rolling here but they just won't go up anymore I really love the style I love the color so if you know of any do please let me know in the description box below but unfortunately these will have to go back okay to start, so that brings me to the end of this video Thank you guys for sticking to the end. Let me know what your thoughts are on these three Weitzman Highland boots on a curvy plus size girl. If you have it, what are your thoughts? My question is, what is the maximum cutoff? What size can you be and then you'd be like, okay, you, you, you can get away with this. Is it like a size 8, a size 10? I'm like a size 14 bottom, so and it's a no-go for me. So maybe if I were a size 8, 10, is that the cutoff? So let me know if you guys, if you have the shoe, like what, from what you've seen, what is the cutoff? If you enjoyed this content and want to connect with me off, off YouTube, then please follow Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm Andy's Evidence at, at all of them. I will have a detailed blog post and I'll leave a picture of like my foot size and the true measurement. Um, if you made it to the end, do you want to give me a, a like and a thumbs up? Subscribe if you haven't. Share this with your friends. I don't know if I, I think I did a search and I didn't see a similar video to this like on YouTube. So I hope this is helpful for somebody out there because I really want to get like original content. That's like a big part of maybe why I take breaks because it's like, oh, somebody really did that. Follow me on everywhere, guys. And and like, as I say in all my videos, if you follow me the first 24 hours this video is up, leave me a little note, send me a tweet that you are following from the YouTube video and I will be sure to follow you back. Just by the way of saying thank you to watching and just want to connect and know some of you guys um, a little bit more. Thank you so much again for watching. Be the best evidence you're proud to leave behind and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.